Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmatov and I want to show you how to get code coverage reports from Cypress end-to-end -end test for an application. So I have an application that I already instrumented using Cypress Instrument CRA. There is code coverage information during the test runs. Here's an example test. How much does this test cover? Well, let's use code coverage to understand how much of application source code we cover with single end-to-end -end test. To get code coverage reports, we're going to add one more NPM dependencies called Cypress Code Coverage. Okay. This module is described on its GitHub repository. So after we install it, we have to add this line to the Cypress support file. We also have to add this line into the plugins file. Great. Now let's run our application. I already set up the scripts to open application and start Cypress together using start server and script. I mean start server and test. Click on the spec file, the browser starts. Now, in addition to normal commands like site visit, contains, you see a couple messages from the code coverage plugin. For example, right before it starts the test, it resets all previous code coverage information, so we get information just from this test run. We can see that we are saving code coverage and then we're generating the code coverage report. Great, let's look at the report. The coverage folder has reports in several formats. Some of them you can send to third-party services to track code coverage information over time or per pull request. And then there is a static report that we can open because it is just a static web page. Great. It shows us the overview of how much of our code we covered. Note that it shows 14%. Well, it's not really true because majority of that is just the service worker we're not even loading and registering. So we'll see how to exclude particular files in the next video. For now, we can see that both app.js and index.js were covered at 100%. We did execute this line of code when we ran the test and loaded our application. Great, we're covering all the code that matters. For more information on how to use the code coverage plugin, just read the README from the repository.